even as a leader. And everybody just looked uh, a bit agreeable, but uh, blank. And the little voice said, uh, I'll have a go if you like. And the voice was mine. <laughs> and uh, I had no particular claims to be a leader. I certainly wasn't any better than the other beginners. But somehow I had it in me to volunteer. And I led Long Chimney here at Alscliffe. And I thought that was great. I started leading virtually straight away. And I was really hooked on climbing. I just wanted to do more and get better at it. Okay, Chris. Right. We're going to give this a go. The only four star route <laughs> in the Great Seven Guide. The route Angela had chosen was Arthur Dalton's classic climb, Great Western. So, do you remember when you first did this, Angela? First time I did this climb, I remember very well because there were so many years when uh, I couldn't even have dreamed of being able to do it. But I got Alan Austin mm. to lead me up it, and uh, I was in the middle of a rope of three with Ken Wood on the end, who was equally expert, so I was very safe. When I started climbing, the uh, most significant person in Yorkshire climbing was Alan Austin. He had done uh, extraordinarily difficult routes, and sometimes he would uh, have a, a new line or a problem, or maybe just a route he hadn't done to do, and uh, because of the conditions it wasn't going too well, and everybody else would be thinking, oh, this is, this is awful, this is far too wet, uh, let's knock off and go for a drink. And Alan would say, we're not going to the pub till we've got a pier. We'll show man after man at it. And if I was there in the vicinity, and if I look in my direction, and if they don't get up, we'll start on the women. <laughs> so you couldn't call that uh, any sort of discrimination. And usually it'd be Alan himself who would get up, and the team with a sigh of relief would adjourn. <laughs> You see that article, Angela, um, Apes and Ballerinas, that Tom Tatey wrote? Oh, yeah. Well, I reckon on that, you're the ballerina. I'm afraid I'm the ape. <laughs> oh, I didn't write that, Chris. Although I've had a very interesting life and had the benefits of a university education and a career that follows this, the most uh, significant thing in my life was taking up climbing, which happened by accident, and it happened here at Armscliff. It's just opened up so many horizons to me. I've been all around the world using climbing as a vehicle, a subculture. It's very easy to do. I don't need to tell you of all people that this is the case. And if I hadn't taken up climbing, all the other things that I did, uh, racket sports, would not have made it up to uh, what, what has happened to me through climbing. And I'm just so, so grateful this opportunity arose and that uh, I took it. Well, I'd agree with that. I mean, that's my feeling. But I must say, I mean, on the occasions that I've climbed with you, I've always been immensely impressed at how bold you are. I mean, you're definitely quite a bit bolder than I am. 